I'm Eric Smith. I'm an assistant uh, professor of neurology in the Department of Clinical Neurosciences at the University of Calgary. I'm a clinician. I'm a neurologist. I see patients at Foothills Medical Center, and I do research on the relationship between blood flow, uh, strokes, and um, thinking and memory, uh, particularly this, trying to understand um, how to identify people at risk for thinking and memory problems as they get older. Uh, my research is funded by Alberta Innovates Health Solutions. The brain is one of the organs that needs the most blood flow in the body. The brain only is about 3% or so of our total body weight, yet it gets almost 20% of all the blood flow. So the brain constantly needs uh, a source of energy, and that's through the sugar and the oxygen that's carried in our blood. And what we've realized, uh, not just my work but others, uh, over the last 5 or 10 years is that when uh, this uh, delivery of blood flow starts failing as people get older, that it leads to small strokes in the brain or spots in the brain called white matter lesions, and that people who develop these brain blood flow problems are at higher risk of developing problems with memory or thinking or even getting what's called dementia, which is the medical term for memory and thinking problems that are so severe that it prevents people from um, uh, kind of living their, their regular lives. Um, Dementia is a major public health problem in Alberta and Canada in general. Uh, right now it affects about 1.5% of all Canadians, um, typically older Canadians. And because of the aging of the population in about 30 years, we think it may affect up to about 3% of all Canadians unless we can find better ways to see who's at risk and then figure out ways to help keep their brains healthy as they get older. I think ideally what we'd like to do is uh, inform understanding of what we see on brain MRI and how it relates to cognitive function and cognitive decline, and then we can advise people to take steps on how to protect their health. And we don't have any proven treatments to prevent dementia yet, but we do know that the major risk factors for dementia are the same as the risk factors for heart disease and stroke for the most part. So that includes having high blood pressure, um, being overweight. Uh, being physically inactive, uh, having smoking or poorly controlled diabetes or cholesterol levels. Um, these are all things that we can modify with treatments that we have now. You know, we can help people stop smoking. We can maybe advise people better on how to be physically active and lose weight and eat a healthy diet. We are looking for uh, participants in, in Calgary right now who would want to volunteer to be a part of our studies, which typically involve having an interview with uh, uh, myself or a doctor doing some memory and thinking tests, including some pencil and paper tests, and usually having an MRI scan. Uh, we're looking for people, uh, particularly people who have some uh, uh, memory symptoms, but uh, who have not been diagnosed with dementia by their doctor. Uh, for people that are interested in being in the, in the studies, they can uh, contact my uh, uh, assistant at 403-944-1594 uh, to uh, find out if they would be eligible. Um, so once we've identified the people at risk, the next step, I think, is to look at some of these strategies, try to test them, and try to measure whether they really uh, have an impact on, on protecting people's health.